you really need to be protecting your energy. That's that's my message for you today. Uh, so I this comes from a story. This comes from this morning. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little sweatier than I would normally be for one of these video issues. And that's because I just got back inside from shoveling our driveway. Now I have a big to-do list for today. A lot of things that I'm, I'm taking care of. I have a BTMS Insiders members call. I have, uh, I have a coaching thing. I have a big piece of client work. I've got a bunch of stuff that needs to get done today. And, um, I had a really rough morning with my kids. So my oldest, my son, he, he, uh, he's going back to school today for the first time pretty much all week because he, he got the flu. We had the vaccinations, but it's, it, he still had a bit of a fever, low on energy, stayed home from school, went to the doctor. They said, you know, when the fever's gone, you can go back to school. And the fever has been gone but he still didn't want to go back to school. Understandably, right? You get drained and it's really hard to pick that momentum uh, back up. And what ended up happening is, is like so many of the things that I plan to do on a Friday morning to get the kids to school ended up being much more difficult because there was also this, this tug of war match going on about, well, you need to go to school. Uh, you need to bring your energy back up uh, the best you can because you are recovering and the, the school policy says you're ready and the doctor said you're ready. So you need to go back to school. And he, he just wanted to spend an, another day at home, understandably, right? He's still under the weather. Um, but I let that snowball in my mind as much as he was letting it snowball in his mind. Um, I would probably let it snowball less than I could have, but um, I, I, I let the negativity from that kind of build up as we were dealing with that, getting out the door, me being frustrated that things that needed to happen before the kids went to school didn't happen. And um, so, so I get them all dropped off at school and I realize, I realize I can't go start my day with this energy, with this uh, attitude, with this w whatever it is going on. I need to do something better for myself to get myself in the right place that I can tackle my day, right? And I, I have other things that I'd like to actually be doing right now. Uh, as I'm recording this, it's 9.30 in the morning. I have a, a phone call in, in 30 minutes. I have uh, other things that I was actually hoping to get done before the phone call. Um, and, and yet, what I decided would be most important for me for the rest of today and making sure that I'm able to bring my best self to work was actually some advice that I gave my son right before I took him to school. I said, you know, in situations like this, I often find that it's really important to move your body. And I've already worked out this morning, actually. Uh, but but because after I worked out, I let all this negative energy build up, I decided I needed to, to dispel it somehow. I needed to get it out, right? Um, and so because our it's been snowing for like the last week here in Nebraska, uh, I decided, all right, I'm just going to go out. I'm going to shovel the last half an inch of, of, of snow and ice that's on our driveway. I'm going to take that off, take that layer off, and I'm going to use that as an opportunity to reset my energy. I threw my headphones on. I picked a good pot podcast that I knew would uh, kind of kick me in the butt and and give me that opportunity to uh, to to bring positive energy or to transmute that negative energy into positive energy I can use for the rest of the day. And I listened to that podcast while I shoveled. And uh, I think that it's really important as entrepreneurs, as creative professionals, as business builders, as marketers, I, I'm, the type of energy that you put into your marketing and your selling efforts is going to uh, completely have a ripple effect on your results. The type of energy that you put into leading your team, running your business, the type of energy that you put into client work, the type of energy that you put into anything that you do, uh, that is must be protected so it is as positive and productive as possible because if you let that negative energy come into your mental state, your mind state while you're working, you're not going to write as compelling of copy if you're a copywriter or writing marketing copy for your business. Your sales messages are going to be disgruntled as you're talking to clients. You're going to screw that up. Your coaching, uh, your coaching calls aren't going to be as great. Your, your conversations with clients and customers are not going to be as great. The type, the type of, uh, of, of mind state that you put into any sort of training or other content that you're putting out is not going to be as good. All of these 
these things are going to suffer if you don't get your own head right first. And so rule number one of this whole entrepreneurial game is you need to protect your energy. You need to protect your positivity. You need to learn how to turn negatives into positives. A great, uh, a great really tactical way to do that is to physically move your body, to change the way that you're moving, to stand up strong, to like uh, speak clearly, to if, you know, push some weight around, whether that's shoveling your driveway or doing kettlebell or whatever the, the, the movement is. Um, do these things to protect your energy because you're going to accomplish way more in an hour with good energy than let's say four hours with negative energy. It's just the way that our bodies work. And going through a stressful situation, it really, it, it floods your brain with, with stress chemicals, with stress hormones. And the way that you work those out is through this kind of activity, through physical exertion, through, you know, even just going for a walk. Like there is something to be said for the idea of blowing off steam by going for a walk around the block. Like I'm not going to do it today because it's too snowy, but if there wasn't snow on the ground, maybe that's what I would have done instead. That's the kind of thing that you need to be very willing to do as an entrepreneur, as, as somebody who's building your own business, as somebody who's building your career, whatever it is, even in, in personal relationships. Like if you are bringing a negative energy to your personal relationships, the, the, the quality of that relationship will suffer. And the more you bring negative energy to, to your relationship, the more the quality of that relationship will suffer. The more you bring positive energy to your relationships, the, the, the more that the, the relationship will flourish and grow and, and fill itself with positivity. And so rule number one is protect your energy because without that positive energy, without that productive growth energy, you are anything else that you want in life is going to be much, much more difficult. Um, so with that, uh, I'm Roy Fur. This has been a video issue of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. It's, it's clear today this was a little less um, marketing related, although it is very marketing related. Um, in fact, this is like underlying before you even get to doing the marketing activities, this is the stuff that's important. And if you talk to any high performance entrepreneur uh, or marketer or whatever, this is the stuff that they care about because they know that this is what made them successful in the first place. Um, so this is this is a Breakthrough Marketing Secrets video issue. If you liked it, uh, be sure that you like the video. You can comment, you can share what you like to do to protect your energy. You can share the video itself and you can subscribe. You can, you can join me here on YouTube. Uh, you can also join me by going to BreakthroughMarketingSecrets.com. The link is in the description. Um, I'm really on a mission to help entrepreneurs and other high achievers live happier, healthier, more prosperous, and more impactful lives through whether it's, uh, you know, communicating your message better or protecting your energy so that you can show up at 100% for today, for this moment, for whatever it is that you need to do to make your impact on the world. And so I'm on this mission and I would love to have you join me by, by subscribing, by following me. Um, and, and with that, again, I'm Roy Fur. This is a video issue of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets and I look forward to seeing you again in your next video. Bye.